Okay, hi everyone. This is a little um, play today with um, the Harley Benton. I played it for a little while. One thing I noticed, maybe I got fatter, well I have, but it seems to balance better than it ever did, but I'm putting it a little bit further back. I used to sort of put it there and it neck dives. I'm putting that a little bit further back and it's balancing okay. Now what I want to compare it with is with the Squire Jazz Bass I've got. Not the total. I mean, this is fantastic value. It was 120 when I got it. What I've got, because it's a hybrid, I've got three labella strings, which were favoured by um, Jim Stanets, God rest his soul, a uh, great teacher. And then on this one here is a, um, I think it's a generic sort of round one string. But what happened was it snapped. I needed a new one. So I bought some new strings for it. And then I bought a new bass. Now, when I play this one, let's just play a little sample. The neck is a really thin like D profile, it's satin, which I don't normally like, but it's it's fine. But the main thing is these Labella strings are really lovely to play. I, I, you cannot describe feel across the internet, um, but, but certainly it's the... It's just effortless. And obviously this has got the active electronics um, and it's got boosters and stuff. So I had the bass boosted. Actually, that's the volume, that's the blend, that's the bass. And if you pull it out, it goes passive, I think. So you can hear the, that's the normal bass. And then we plug this in. So quite a bit of boost there. But the, the main thing is that the balance of this is better now. Get 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 fatter, to boys and girls, and that's the first thing. And the second thing is, you'll get used to leading the bass down. When I first got this, it was neck diving all over the place, and I didn't like it. But now, it's much better. I haven't put a, a heavier bridge like I've done on others. It's absolutely fine. It's just I've gotten used to to the bass really and holding it in a different place. Um, anyway, the one I really want to play, and I'll show you what it's like. Let me just swap them over. So this is the hybrid Daphne Blue Squire, but I put a no-name Chinese neck on there and it, my other videos I had to do stuff to make the pocket fit. Uh, sorry, make the neck fit the pocket, which is what people say is the wrong way round. But I reasoned if I do it that way round and I screw it up, I can keep put the fender neck back on, which is actually just here, yeah? So I can put this neck back on if I ever want to go back to fretted. I like fretless, but if we should plug this in, and I'll show you what I find odd about this. So, so it's also active, they're um, EMG pickups, uh, jazz bass pickups, but. So the first thing that's different is you, you play to the dot on the Harley Benton, you don't play to the dot here, you play to the fret or virtual fret, yeah. The, you'll notice the output's not as high. Uh, I've got it on. Uh, yeah, that's just the I've got just the the front pick up here, the the neck pick up. Uh, tone is up. I turn it down a little bit because I like low tone. Try it again. This is a thicker neck than the other one, but it's beautiful. It's glossy. I love glossy necks. I don't know why. That's not stopping me sliding. What's stopping me sliding is the, the string, because it's a, a round wound, or whatever you call it, with all the little nodules on it. So it's got a better sound in some respects. It's a nice, nice sound, but I don't like the feel personally on my fingers. And I, I got a bit of a bad hand at the minute. It's been stopping me making videos for a while. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the labellas on here, and I'm going to put these Billy Sheenans on the Harley Benton because I think it deserves a string upgrade. Uh, let's just check. I think they're the same scale. Well, they should both be 34 inch. Put that there. Just needs a little bit more TLC done. I think I need to re 
flattened the 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 first bit here it's a bit too uh what's the word it's gone all sitari if anything that looks slightly bigger actually i would say the fretboard's longer on this but i put them near each other they're the same scale but the definitely the fretboard on this is longer oh because it's two octaves of course i forgot this is two octaves this is not two octaves so that makes sense of course so of course it makes sense okay so i'm gonna these strings are going on here um these are going in the bin or keep for spares and the new set of labellas is here and that's going to go on so i'll just pause set it up and have a play you don't need to see me doing it because plenty of videos of dave online doing this stuff it's more to compare the guitars and why i'm doing it i love the look of the daphne blue it's a nice present um this is a lovely guitar I mean, this was considerably more expensive in the scheme of things. Uh, I just like the look of this. I'm being very shallow. But this one is a fantastic guitar for the price. Um, and I would highly recommend this, particularly where I've got it balancing better. Um, really nice guitar. Anyway, I'll be back. Actually, one thing I will show here. Um, I forgot these are quick release. So the, I, I do these the other way round. So one goes one way, one goes the other. I don't know if you're meant to do that because I don't have many opposing string trees. But just a few turns down, this should start to come off here a little bit, a few more. Doing it one hand, it's a bit tricky. Uh, 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 uh. Come on, you can do it, Dave. There we go. Couple more like that. I'll just take them off. Because it's the vintage tuner, both are, you can just lift them up, yeah? So it makes the string in this bit quicker. And the other beautiful thing about this particular bass is that the rear saddles are also these quick release ones, yeah? So I'll show you in a minute, let me take that off. That's that bit. Now, I haven't actually screwed the nut in there. Put it out to one side. So you can just flip them like that and they come out, yeah. Okay, we just put the strings, the old Billy Sheenans on the Harley Benton. And let's give it a quick test drive. Obviously they're going to stretch a little bit or settle down, but brighter but then it hasn't got that nylon coating but it doesn't feel as nice to the finger to my fingers but then again I got this bad hand at the minute so it was a bit odd that you played to the dot like here the dot and on this one you don't quite so that's the Billy's put from this guitar onto here a bit louder a bit brighter um, nice sound, they feel good, but I prefer the feel of the black nylon. So let's put the black nylon coating on here, see what it looks like, see what it sounds like. I mean, I think it's going to be quieter, which is a bad thing because the EMGs are not super high output, but they're very quiet at rest, yeah. into it nice guitar really nice guitar and you see it's balancing much better the fatness in the body 
the fact that I'm putting it slightly different place before I used to put them like that. So just putting it there is enough to make it balance better. Uh, right, let's get the strings onto this one. I'll just put this away and compare it. I will be back. Actually, I forgot how much I like the bellas. They go with the little dice on it, which Dave's world says about. I think they're different to that one. There's blue. I think the other ones are red. But they're the same basic 750 ends. So 0 0.5, 0 0.05 rather, going to 105, which is about right, I think. So normally, you take the little dice thing off, obviously. Uh, one thing I noticed about this particular bass, it used to make a difference if I was in the playing or the non-playing uh, position to tune it. I know Dave says it shouldn't make any difference, and Dave makes a good point to find playing position. But what I mean is the original Fender neck bent quite a bit, uh, and I didn't care for that too much. But I have it because obviously if ever I pass on or sell it or whatever, someone might want to put the original back. But I don't know. So I'm, I'm hoping I get that feel of the slide. There's something really beautiful about the, the black nylon string. So again, let me turn it round. Three, two, one. What you normally do, oops, get this wire out of the way. What you normally do is to get it um, uh, past the hole and to two up and maybe a little bit more. So I'm gonna cut it to about there. Uh, ordinarily you shouldn't well, most normal non-vintage tuner you won't cut it but these ones it has to go in the hole then I have to remind myself which way round it goes uh, we're going to spin it like that to tighten it aren't we so down like that so it's going to go round like wrap it round through itself into a little D and then hold it sort of fairly flat there and just tighten it approximately and let it just go underneath itself as you do it yeah you can get string I got one somewhere actually I've got a string uh, lever it's probably in front of my eyes up there if I'm any smart so I put my guitar oh yeah I can see it why well, don't we get that thing since we got it Hang on, hold it like that there's a reason why I started using these magnetic strips so I could see where things are. So now I should be able to put that in there. Uh, I don't know, it's not a base one. Doesn't feel any easier. Oh no, wait a minute. Aha. There's a different edge depending on whether you're base or not, yeah? I thought you had a spinner somewhere hmm. yeah there's two there's two one for like traditional stratocaster and then this thinner one for the base which i completely forgot about i haven't used it in a long time okay i could have had less flaps than that hell i almost feel like i've got a short scale oh wait a minute Okay, yeah, you would basically gone with the string tree at the back here. Sorry, the, the saddle. Now it's in the right place. Right, I'll get that into this one. I guess you'll tell me the tune. That's the cable gone. There you are. There's the input. Okay, uh, hold these two down. Hold it down after you switched it on, otherwise the zoom sits and does a different thing. Let's get that out of the way because that's moved. Sorry about that. It's an E apparently. It feels very flat to me though. Okay. 
Let's get the next ones. I'll go off camera doing the next ones, yeah? Okay, so they're they're on. In some respects, this is a bad time to demo because they've only just gone on. So, they, you know, the strings take a little while to stretch. So... I like that. Oh, they're beautiful. Feel that like there's no comparison on your fingertips it's just a you just slide Now what I have to check is obviously the strings will be um, probably not quite as tense. So let's see if I've got my capo to hand. It should be. There's my. There's that. Ah, there's that. Capo on where the first fret should be. Okay, about there-ish. Uh, twelve thousand, which is what it was set up for before. So let's get the twelve thousand zero one two. There. Zero one two. Hold it where the neck meets the body, and about just where the eighth fret would be, seventh eighth fret. So three five seven. About here. I'm giving glasses off. Well, if anything, that's a bit too flat. If anything, that's a bit too flat which might mean that I get a slight weird sitari type thing going on but I'll, I'll try it like this for a, a while because they've got to stretch the strings any one what stretch they've got to settle in yeah I think the colour looks lovely the black strings on the mint garb with the blue and the maple wow this is banging Check the intonation. It's not too bad. My fingers. <laughs> Try it one more time. deep bass turn the tone the way down either way down see a bit on the the bridge pickup So if you want to play fretless and you like the smoothness, these are beautiful. And even with this thicker gloss neck, it's really easy. It makes it feel like the Harley Benton. Of course, the Harley Benton was considerably cheaper than this. This is a present for my wife because I'm very, I'm very colorblind, but I like this color. Yeah, I, I can see colors, but I can't differentiate them that well. So I wanted this color. She got it for me. I put the EMGs on because I like how quiet it makes it. 
I put this Chinese neck on. You can see that in another video, it took a bit of work. I think the labellas are beautiful. It's balancing quite well, you know, it's okay. Put them both on. I mean, I think I do miss the ability to do the EQ like you can on a Harley Benton. Um, but I like the feel of this guitar. I like the look of it. Um, a bit shallow, uh, but it's nice. Uh, I'll leave it a bit flatter, like I said. See how I get on with that. Thank you for watching. So I think this is probably the only thing I'll ever do to this again, maybe is put a proper big fat fender bridge on just to give it a little bit extra chunky. The problem is that raises the strings a bit. Um, but yeah, this, this bass is the real deal. I, I, I hope at one point in the church we'll play some songs that I can use to, to really play the bass along. You know, we tend to play different ones at the minute, but um, there's some really good songs that really allow this melancholy bass to come out. That's why I have so many basses. One, because they're cheap and I can have them. But two, this has got the feel for the slightly more emotional hymns. Whereas the, the five string M2 with a low B has got some really nice sort of tone to it. Um, and if you want to hit the notes, it's good. One of the cheapest jazz basses I've got, the green, um, surf green, Jack, Jack and Danny, whatever. That's a fantastic bass for it is. But of course, this one here, the little Harley Benton, the first fretless I bought, I'm so glad I did. Uh, it's going to have these Billy Shunins on it, so it's going to have a different kind of punch to it. it. Doesn't feel as nice on the smooth. Maybe I'll grow better finger tips, but they're really not working for me at the minute. So that's kind of why I like these black nylon ones. And there's, you know, it just feels good. So anyway, that's what I did. I've just put the the nylons on my bass, as they put it, and I love it. I'm going to go and play this. I've got my beer here next to me, so I think I'll have a few of my home brews. And a little session on the fretless, which will be fun. Okay, thank you for watching. Have fun. Bye-bye.